All right. Welcome to another robot adventures review come by. And today we got the Disney Pixar label Transformer. And I know this is the what, fourth in the series. Uh, there was a Mickey and uh, two, what, three Mickeys. And uh, what, this is the sixth? Three Mickeys and uh, two Donalds, alternate colored. And uh, yeah. The first one I picked up, I, I, they are still available in the stores, but I do like Pixar. I'm not a big Mickey Mouse fan. I don't give a fuck about him. Donald Duck. Yeah. I like him. He sounds like a, like a Texan or something, but, um, but, uh, <coughs> This is a Buzz Lightyear. Uh, I know they're going to make a Revolt Tech a Buzz Lightyear. I'm going to do that in the Batman review, but. Uh, and a Buzz Lightyear Revolt Tech. So I think uh, Disney's getting into the Revolt Tech, which is pre pretty cool, I think. But, uh, yeah, it's not a big Mickey fan. And, uh, take a look. Of course, I've already played with him on this stuff, so. Just wanted to show you him in his uh, packaging. And then we can get him. Oh, his head fell off. Oh, shit. Shit. I know it's, uh, it's not packagificated. Oh, very well, but uh, I I'm using the old webcam because uh, I just changed apartments and I haven't set up the internet service at my new place. So uh, yeah, I'm using the. Hopefully, this will be a a light file. It won't be too heavy. You can see very Buzz Light Yearish. That's an adjective. And he's got a gimmick. You pop in. You pop in his wings there. You can pop in his torso there. It's kind of fucked up. But once you put the heads on, this thing. Pops up again. As you can see, it's it's starting to pop. There it goes. Oh, I just popped this head. Okay, I'll I'll hold them up. And uh, get the little wings in there. Oh, yeah, his wings didn't pop. I didn't get his arms in there properly. There they are. So, yeah, that pops out. Another gimmick. Let's transform him, facade him up. Basically, he's gonna take a shit. He's gonna squat and transform into a fucking spaceship. So, a couple of uh, shitty points about this figure. The legs are, are joined there. Move one leg, the other leg moves. Which is kind of okay. Because he transforms that way, right? So, he's got to squat and do that. His heels pop out. They're going to be the jet boosters on the end there. So, I think I'm pretty much transforming them with one hand here. Maybe. That's his front cockpit there. Okay, I'll use my other hand. 
Uh, I'm still here with ya. There he goes. Yeah, I just kind of snapped into place there. And these heels go down and they this back in. Links up to these little pegs on the back heel, on the back of the spaceship there. And they just pop into place there. The arms, shit. I kind of fucked up that. Arms are supposed to go like, you know, like he's fucking grabbing his ass cheeks or something like that. So, essentially, he's just squatting really hard. Really, he's got his knees bent out there and he's just fucking hunkering down for a nice shit. That's what he's doing, and he leans over there. You open up this cockpit, and you pop in his little. head on. The Tim Allen. I guess this is the only thing Tim Allen is doing now. Toy Story 3. Because uh, home improvement's gone, and I don't know if he's getting any other work other than that, but. So, let's see if we can zoom in there a little bit. Pretty good figure. I mean, if you're a Pixar Toy Story fan, then you're going to want to pick it up, but. If you're not, well, then don't pick it up. I mean, transformation is pretty simplistic. He, he does maintain the spaceship shape, and he does have the, the Buzz Lightyear shape, but if you pose him this way, <coughs> it's just a weird guy taking a shit. So, I don't know if that's a good thing. I mean, everybody takes a shit, you know. I mean, I don't take a shit because I don't have an anus. But other people, humans, take shits and stuff, so that might be good. Fight. Fight. Focus on me. I'm both like you. Alright. Anyway, pretty good figure. I recommend them. He's a good chunky little thing, Disney character. I don't know if you can go wrong with that, but uh Tomi Takara costs thirty bucks here in Japan. I don't know what you're gonna pay for importing, but this has been another uh, robot adventures review and I'm gonna post up a couple more of these in uh, webcam form hopefully until I get my high definition uh, optical fiber internet connection hooked up again I'll talk to you guys later bye